Hi everyone, my name is Milan Krnjetin from Serbia. I'm founder of 10 Fitmen and I'm a professional tennis player and coach. What's up guys, welcome back to another 10 Fitment video and this is the part 2 of the training with Damir Drunkur from Bosnia and Herzegovina. If you haven't watched the part 1, please go ahead and check it out. We did a lot of hitting from the baseline and then did some drills at the net. And now as you can see we are at the part of the training where Damir is doing his serves and I'm trying to hit some returns because I have noticed that he usually hits the next ball sometimes depends some players they really don't care about the next shot they just focus on the serves whereas other players they are looking to hit the next ball so that's the serve plus one exercise and you will notice that Tamir will hit a lot of drop shots on that very next shot this is also a part of his game he plays a lot of short balls sometimes and he uses his great touch, great hands. So I believe it's his big asset and uh, the weapon in, in his game because he's able to change the rhythm. So you will notice here a lot of times. On the other occasions he will hit this heavy ground strokes or kind of approach shots. Definitely when he wants to finish the point like there. And uh, yeah, again, I said, I tried, I was trying to hit returns. It was not that easy. Even though Damir was not hitting too fast, the serves, and here you can see the drop shots, this one was in the net, but. So the serves were not too fast, but still there's a lot of slice there, a lot of rotation on the ball and it took me some time to kind of get used to it the, again the bounce on these courts was very different and you have to adjust your swing adjust your timing but in general for my return I wish I had practiced it more when I was junior and uh, this is where I found this training so valuable for me because I got a chance to return serves from all the players I trained with including the big guys the big servers like Kevin Anderson, actually with him I don't think that we worked on the returns though but other guys like uh, Sam Quarry, I remember Stefano Tsitsipas, all these guys, even Djokovic of course amazing serve so it was a great chance for me to to hit returns there and again when the players are serving and uh, you're on the return it's there's a less pressure because you're kind of not expected to to return maybe or at least not that consistent, they're not expecting it and they're mostly focused on their serves. But now, here is the, the pressure moment. It's when I'm about to do serves and uh, this is where you're expected to perform. So you have to deliver good serves because for them it's important to hit some nice returns and usually the more consistent the better. So. It's really important that you have a nice rhythm on your serves, otherwise it's tough for the player to get a rhythm on the return. And I know this very well. When I'm training with my players and I'm on the other side, I want to return a few balls so they can hit the next shot. If they put in every third or fourth serve or, or even you know lower percentage than that, it's really tough to kind of get the feeling on the return. So I'm aware completely of the importance of the rhythm on the serves and consistency. But this is tricky because you have pressure here, a lot of pressure. And then you also want to hit good serves, precise and also faster serves when I'm working the first serve.
yes, at the moment here you can see I hit a few balls in the net and uh, I think I'm already starting to hit the first serves here. And as I remember this this training, the serve was not at the highest level. It was it was kind of how to say not random but it was not really as consistent as it should be and I remember the feeling I had was not the best it was not the greatest so what I did after this training I think I had some time I got some balls for the practice sessions and I found an empty court it was not covered it was under the sun and this was super hot super humid weather conditions in Zhuhai which is southeast of China and at this period it was end of September it was still super hot anyways I went there and uh, I did some extra serving because I really felt I had to find the rhythm so there was a few returns Damir didn't need too many returns there on this side I think I hit some good spots there on the two side wide and T just a couple and then Damir asked me to serve on the ad side so yeah I think he told me to first go down the T so I was just trying to hit that spot and usually the players will tell you if you're serving the first serve to kind of go for one specific corner. And then maybe for the second serves, yeah, here he gave a sign for me to serve wide. So I was trying to go wide in that corner, that was missed by quite a margin. Again, I was not feeling that first serve percentage. I had to find that control. And uh, yeah, I wanted to say that usually players ask you to go second serves, and usually they ask you to go random on the second serve. But on the first serves, they usually ask you to go a specific corner. And you can see the percentage here was really low. So there was a lot of pressure for me. And uh, again, the players were coming for the next training, so you have even more pressure. You want to deliver the serve. And especially here at the end, when you need to hit the last one, you, you know. Just one more good serve. And uh, that was another miss, I think. But I think Damir hit a few, and it was enough for him for this training. And now it was time for him to serve on the ad side as well. But I wanted to say something else. So when the players are asking you to serve, you know, I mentioned the first serves usually they ask you to go one specific corner unless on the other side there is Novak Djokovic and he usually asks me to go random because he really wants to work on a reaction and he tries to return all these serves, you know, when you hit the spots on the first serve like in a match, so he wants to be ready and the return part of the training for him it's one of the biggest parts and we usually spend a lot of time there anyways back to to this training here Damir was again serving and doing the next shot like here he was usually going for the winner if if I hit the ball a bit shorter and again he was mixing that next shot with drop shots occasionally to kind of get the right feeling i think here we were running out of time so he was just going for a few more serves focused to get that comfortable feeling and good rhythm on the serve the precision Here he changed it up, mixed it up a bit and hit a slice instead of the drop shot. One more big forehand. There is another drop shot and that was the end of the training. He finished with a nice drop shot and he was ready, he was warmed up for his first match. I think it was later in the day and as I remember I must have watched all of his matches I think he won a few rounds it was really amazing to be part of it I warmed up with him again the next time so here yeah we finished the training and it was a nice feeling you know 
you really felt happy at the end except for the serving part i know i had a, a little bit not a guilt feeling but i kind of because i knew I, I can do much better and the serve is my best shot and i was determined to do it better next time so this is why i went and did some extra serving so i finished my training with damir Jumkur. Uh, currently ranked around 18 in the world, highest ranking number 23. Uh, I think he's warmed up for the match. I will cheer for him very soon. But I think it was good, you know, from the baseline. I think he got some good rhythm. Except at the end when I was serving, I don't know, for some reason, you know, he didn't feel quite good, the serve. It was a bit off. I don't know, I was a bit nervous. It should never happen. Like my serve is usually, you know, my weapon and very consistent. And uh, now I decided I'm gonna do some extra serving. So, talking about being relentless, you know, you just gotta keep getting better and making those small steps each day. Let's go. And here I asked Damir for a photo. Of course, it's my ritual and uh, the practice. I really like to get this memory for every single training. And even if I play more times with a player, I would always ask because every training is different experience and uh, a new memory. So I always like to have that. And now there was time for this other players. Oh, I think this is uh, Jules, the French doubles player. I actually got to train with him as well, and he's here on the left side. But anyways, yes, uh, that was it. This was the part two for this training, and it concludes the first training with Damir Jumkur. It was time to relax a bit, enjoy the moments after practice, and later on, especially get super excited to watch Damir, you know, it's always the special feeling when you warm up the player and then you have a chance to watch their match. You're obviously cheering for them so much, you kind of feel you're part of the team now because you were there for them to get ready for it. And of course, you're very, very nervous. You want them to win. But yeah, that's very, very special experience as well. So here we were talking a bit, chatting, it was very nice and Damir is an amazing guy, amazing person, very, very humble, always happy to share some experiences and, you know, we are coming from the same area, from the same country, basically, speak the same language and also the, the guys there on the court, his trainer and, and the other friend, another tennis coach, we all talk the same language and it was very nice to, to be on court with them and share some moments because, you know, here in Asia, so far away from home, kind of missed it so that was another reason that made this trainings very unique and special and uh, you could feel more connections you know especially because of the, the same origins and same mentality similar characters and again it was a great learning experience so now you're actually watching the training of these other guys but anyways yeah I was I was sitting there and talking I totally forgot about the camera and I think at some point I will realize it and then I will just like run to it and turn it off. I think here is the moment. Not yet. <laughs> oh yeah, here it is. So, yeah, once again, thank you so much for watching guys. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was fun. Relentless and maybe inspiring a bit and that you got pumped up to go out there and play, enjoy this game. So that's it for this video and if you haven't so far, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out all other social media platforms, all the links below in the description and if you have any comments, please leave them below. It will be great to hear some feedback from you and that's it. I'll see you soon in our next video.
different story. Different story. The feeling not quite there yet. Not quite, you know, feeling it 100%, but it's much better. I think I just need to relax, you know, trust my serves and uh, start with the basics. Not going for 100% power because I was definitely losing the timing, the rhythm. This different balls, air, more humid, everything is different. So, need to adapt. Let's go, relentless.